But hello there, YouTube. With the little woman out here and her stuff. Who was all crashed out last night. I know, I was very tired Maybe. yesterday. <laughs> Dude, sorry. all alone, I was all afraid. I'm so sorry, Hubba. <laughs> I'm gonna head to work and, right. and, and do my Monday. You got little, there you are. Look like hay scraplings on you. I'm sure I do. Well, have a relaxing day. All right. I'll say bye from the car here. I'll see you tonight. Love you bunches. I love you. Bye bye, sweetheart. Be careful. I will. You know, I'm getting spoiled. I'm getting used to taking this trip with her. And now, when I do it without her, it's very, uh, feels very weird. But it's only, only one day out of the week. It's not going to kill me. she crashed out. <laughs> You're lucky because I ate. <laughs> yeah, well she was tired last night. I didn't so like her. tired all day. Had her animal show going out there. She, <laughs> she goes yep. out. Her and them damn critters. Loves them I love critters. <laughs> so she's at, you know, the, I don't know, you guys watched on the motor vlog side, actually I think it's the last video that's up, is the little Kawasaki, um, Z125 Pro, they're calling it. It's like their version of the Honda Grom, you know, they want to compete in that market for those little mini bikes. She's all excited about one of those. Yeah, things. I can't wait till tomorrow so I can sit on one. Yeah, I, I was shocked that that thing was still sitting on the showroom floor. Well, one of the other guys said, well, they might have got another one they put together or more over the weekend. Who knows? I, I don't go back there and go perusing through all the inventory of crates out there to see what's there and what's not but anyway if that's the same one I'm shocked it made it through the weekend as popular as those things are 
and every time I walk up front for something, there's somebody looking at it or sitting on it or or something. So, God, full boat retail is twenty nine ninety nine. I know. I'm going. Hey, that thing's that fun might as be heck. Doable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she could tool around and light trails and stuff on her. Look what the people, everybody does with the Groms. They go everywhere on those things, you know. And it's, uh, you know, fast enough for back roads around here. I mean, it'll go, I mean, people are saying 65, 66, somewhere in there's stock is what they're doing. That's more than fast enough for all the little back roads around here. We go tooling around. I can jump on the old DR and she can... Yeah. Could Jump on a little Z125 and go zooming around. I'd take back roads to town. Yeah. Yeah. Have to force me to buy a Grom or something. That'd be fun to go out on a little ride. Yeah, it would. Or buy one green. Uh, the red one that you see overseas isn't coming here. Or orange, whatever it is. It looked kind of reddish orange. But uh, that one's not here in the States. We only get the green one and the, uh, and the gray one. You can always paint them. Yeah, you can paint whatever. It's not that many body parts. But, yeah, I was thinking body shop, paint, a few parts. Yeah, doable. Ship for six grand. You both got a motorcycle and you can have a ton of fun on. Yeah, that'd be fun. And take back roads to Chehalis and stuff like that. Just goof off, go all over the place. Put your little backpack on so you can pack your stuff around. And yeah. Or pack stuff home if you buy stuff, whatever. It's fun. Go the speeds I go on the iron going through there. I don't go bombing around too fast anywhere. But yeah, that'd be fun. Anyway, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, that'd be cool tomorrow. Yeah. I love love little fun bikes like that. Just unsuspecting fun, you know. Just one of those ones you just don't even see it coming. You jump on it and ride it and go, dang, that thing's fun. I love that kind of stuff. It's not very threatening. It doesn't weigh nothing. Yeah, I like that not weighing anything part. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, afraid if it weighs too much. It sits surprisingly tall. You know, I have to, the Grom sitting right next to it still. Can I put my feet on the ground? Should be able to. Okay. Kawasaki, is, it's pretty tall, though. You still should be able to put your feet on the ground. <laughs> it's taller than the Honda. It's noticeably taller than the Honda. I may have to... That would be a cat yeah. running on the roof. Craziest they, they thing. Run around. They sleep all day long and then go. Brum, 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 and for some, and brum, as Marley brum, found brum. out, that roof is not a safe place I to be. I know it. I the keep damn trying to get got down. him in the middle of the night. He uh, how he lived through that, I have no idea. Didn't live These great the big one. talon marks in his in his shoulder and it pulled his shoulder out. And he couldn't he couldn't walk under anything for a while. His face was all, I'm assuming he squirmed around and the bird let him go. And he just, blah. Because he was so sore he couldn't, I mean, really, we thought the cat was going to die. Yeah. You know, at one point, yeah. I was going to have to go out there and take him out of his misery, but he. It took months for him to, to fully recover, yeah. Yeah, and then he gets all recovered and then it disappears. something gets him again. Yeah, I'm sure, either a big cat or the coyotes got him. Because he was. Owl. He just thought he, the way that cat walked around, it's like nothing's going to mess with him. Because the dogs, you know, he wasn't afraid of the dogs. Yeah. Because, you know, he'd go out there with the dogs and they'd go running up and he'd go, hello. And the you worst know? thing is I'd catch him way out there, out in those fields, just kind of lazily walking along. I said, cat, That's not good. sucker, you are a target. You have no chance against an eagle or an owl. That thing, well, maybe he does. He got away from one. <laughs> Whatever it was was big. I had big talents. An owl can get crazy big. I mean, you've seen these things in those trees and they are crazy. I had one fly out across me one day when I was going to work. God almighty. There's no way a old gray owl can be that big. No, they're huge. Yeah. You don't think that they would be that big, but they are. Yeah, kind of freaky. Mama Cat's smart. She stays close. Always has. Yeah. Yeah, she probably got swooped down on by something. And even when she leaves the porch, she'll like hug the, I mean, the border borders of the, house. the house. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she's it's funny. like you know, she's typical like, cat. They're yeah, kind of skittish, around. you know. Save yourself. Yeah, nothing's gonna get Mama Kitty. Uh, I still see that. I see the old Marley coming across the driveway out there, just long, long. He'd stop every once in a while, roll around. I'm going, 
You know, there's things out in the woods watching you right now, cat. <laughs> yeah, I cannot let you go. Mm. get to safety. I wonder what that cat would taste like. Don't try it like that. <laughs> Poor old kitty. Who knows what happened to my Marley. Sometimes they take off and find a new home somewhere and all of a sudden just show up literally months, months and, and months later. Months later. Yeah, it's like, I thought you were dead. Yeah. And go, like, oh my God, the cat, whatever cat's here, you know. Yeah, because they'll just like <laughs> wander off for months and then they just show up one day and it's like, what the blah? Yeah. Had, Funny. Yeah. Cats have no loyalty to their Except for mama uh, kitty. owners. I don't think anybody owns a cat, but uh, yeah. cats, they're caretakers, yeah. I guess. They're little companions. <laughs> yeah. And they just go, oh, well, this guy has better food and pets me one more time a day more than you do so I know. you're out this person's in yeah there's no loyalty with cats no they may love you but they're not going to stick with you like a dog does yeah crazy so did you have a nice relaxing day I did I did kind of come home and I did my thing and Ryan was here my son's trying to work on a truck and turns out he needs a power tool that's more powerful than what we have here Man, he put so much for he's trying to get the you know, harmonic balancer off. And, um, man, he put so much force. I was holding the brakes on that old Toyota, and it, he literally squatted the whole suspension. We're just trying to use that as a lock. Oh, you're kidding. Like, damn, that kid's got some power. Yeah. He was up underneath there with that great big cheater bar ratchet wrench I got. Mm-hmm. And had one foot against the wheel, and he just cranking her down. That's like, crazy the power that kid has. Mighty, son. Yeah, so taking that air tank out yesterday, holy crap, that thing was heavy. We're never going to yeah. get it back. I don't know how we'll ever get it back in the truck. Yeah, because we don't have fork left here. No. So. Yeah, I mean, we got that thing in the barn. Unless uh, you put, like, you wheels better... under it and then somehow got it on a low enough truck to wrap a rope around with a pulley to pull it up over a beam to get it into a truck. Yeah, the beams on That's... our barn would not hold that thing. Yes, that thing it is would. that heavy. Have you seen the beans in the barn? Yeah, just... I think he built this thing to last, you know, like a million years. I don't know how we'll get it back in a, in a truck of any kind. He better bring some friends over, because him and I were not enough. And I'm old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's your day been? Hopefully good. Hopefully the weather's nice where you are, and just... Well, I was flipping through the weather thing. I see Houston got wiped out again. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the little video things on AccuWeather was from today. Like, dang, you guys are getting all our rain. Well, I feel a little bit better because some of it is slipping back up this way. It's trying to be normal northwest, but I think the nice weather is going to win out in the end. I didn't have any wild stories or anything to tell today. You... Nope, doggies hung out. We just kind of chilled. <laughs> Leo, he, wherever she's at, he's right at her feet. Yeah, he laid out. <laughs> it's funny how the male dogs, I mean, literally cling to her. Well, the girls do too, but it, the chant yeah. is before Leo and Leo, and he's always at her feet. I come out, she's sitting in her chair, he's right there with her, and he's right at her feet right now. Yeah, he's my big old baby. He's such a lovely love. No, but man, the I mean, energy, he just suddenly uh, gets this like build up and he's just got to expel it all at once. And then you, I mean, he's just so wound up, you you want to kill him, you know, it's like for the love of God, dog. Just lay down for and a I, minute. All the girls scatter, you know, they go, man, he's in one of those moves, we don't want anything to do with him. <laughs> he's just a little puppy in his head. I know. And not his fault. So trouble the old mama dog. She don't have any part of playing with him. She actually was playing with him a little bit yesterday. Yeah, and this this morning too. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're sitting there wrestling. She's going, don't push it too far. <laughs> but I'll play with you. But then I'm going to snarl <coughs> at you. Madison still, as soon as he comes at her, she just all you see is his teeth going down, down, down. I know, then, how she can snap like that and not, like, take her own face off. I don't know. What's funny is he doesn't take it as a warning to stop. 
He goes, oh, we're playing. He thinks it's cool. He thinks it's part of her playing. So he goes right back. And then finally, she I think she lights into him. He's going, okay, well, she don't play as fun. She yeah. hurts. <laughs> yeah, and then sometimes, you know, he goes running up and he goes, oh, that's not Abby. Yeah, he Too gets late. Abby and Madison mixed up and runs up and grabs Madison like he does Abby. And Madison just turns around and freaks on him, you know. He's like, oh, he's like shit. jumping back, like wrong whoa, dog, whoa. wrong dog. That's <laughs> funny. They look so much alike. You gotta look at Madison and Abby's feet to figure out the difference. Yeah, funny. They're goofy. We love our creatures. Yeah, yeah. Well, mom, we're running this thing a little on the long side. We should probably let these poor folks crash out for the evening. Like oh, we're right. about to do. Well, I got a video to edit first, but after that, I will. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Dang Skippy. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. And have something more interesting to talk about tomorrow, will you? I know. Sometimes I'm such a dud. <laughs> no. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.